Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Crow, your favorite part-time YouTuber, and we need to talk about Charlie, uh, Moist Critical, Penguin Zero, because this is just one of the most shameful and embarrassing displays I've seen any YouTuber engage in. Now, for those of you who are completely unaware, there was a debate that took place between Charlie and Sneeko. Sneeko had the very absurd and disgusting position that minors, as long as they consent and the family consents, should should be able to marry an adult, which I, I don't think anyone is really okay with other than Sneeko's audience. But it's been a take he has had for a pretty long time. And I mean, for, for like more than a year now, I've seen clips making fun of Sneeko with his whole age of consent take. So it was expected that Sneeko would be unhinged and have a, a, a take that most people aren't going to agree with. But the problem is, because the expectations are so low for Sneeko, the expectations are exceedingly exceedingly high for Charlie to come in and just, you know, basically curb stomp the kid. But then Charlie took an also equally unhinged position that a minor, as long as they consent and the parents consent, can, you know, chop off their penis. And, and like... It, 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 it's really frustrating, okay? It's really frustrating because one, it was apparent to me, like very, very obvious to me that Charlie had no clue what he was actually talking about. And I know other people said the same thing and felt the exact same way, that this is something that he really doesn't understand. It's not a subject he is anywhere near an expert on and he clearly hasn't looked into it like at all. But at the same time, if you agree to a debate, even if you think the other person is like completely brain damaged, which a lot of people think Sneeko is, right? You are still responsible to prepare for it. Like figure out what, what you're actually talking about, figure out what your actual arguments are and and, and go into it in, in, in somewhat good faith and everything. But Charlie didn't. Charlie believed that Sneeko was going to be a complete idiot, that he was just going to walk in, uh, you know, wop, 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 and, and then, you know, Sneeko would be done. And it really didn't work that way because after the stream, Charlie you know, uh, uh, throws kind of like a fit and just ends things talking about how, oh, I thought he was speaking in hy hyperboles because it was all hyperboles. And I was like, not, like, Sneeko was never speaking in hyperboles. Uh, like, the things he was saying are, are just that disgusting and deranged. But like, it was never hyperbole. A and Charlie's position, I don't know how he is claiming that he thought it was hyperbole because he clarifies his position as he's speaking. A and I, I encourage people, if you really want to, you know, bash your head into concrete, but you don't want the physical trauma of it, then then watch the debate between Moist Critical and, and, and Sneeko, and you'll see what I am talking about. But that brings us to today's news, which is that after that debate, uh, Charlie has chosen to take an indefinite hiatus. And when I say embarrassing and shameful, like you lost a debate, okay? Yeah, and you lost a debate because you went in unprepared w without actually understanding the topic that you were like gonna be speaking about. And that's on you, right? So like be a man, own up to it, right? And just acknowledge, hey, like I made a mistake. Instead, I I've heard excuse after excuse after excuse after excuse excuse, blaming other people, bl blaming Sneeko for confusing you, right? And, and not accepting like any type of accountability. The backlash, like I, I understand where Charlie's coming from, where he talks about how, why aren't more people focused on Sneeko's position? I was like, because people have known his position. People have known that the guy's unhinged. His fans are like, you know, not not the best people. Right? Like they, they believe some pretty like wild things, but everybody already knew that. So all the focus is on Charlie, all the focus is on him. And he's like in this like spiraling meltdown, like in a complete free fall because he, he's upset no Nobody is focused on Sneeko. Everyone's talking about him. And again, I, I, I get that that feels like a lot of pressure, but all you have to do is just say, hey guys, I got it wrong. I was wrong. I didn't think about what I said. I didn't go and prepared. And you know, maybe like ask Sneeko, hey, you want to come back and let's let's actually discuss this because you, you know, whatever, right? Like he can do that. You know, he can have the balls, right? Own up to his mistakes and 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 just keep, keep doing what he's been doing. Instead, it's like th this whole thing is, has just sent him topsy freaking turvy and now he's on an indefinite hiatus, right?
right? No more, no more moist critical content because a freaking Sneeko of all people. It's, it's so embarrassing and it's so shameful. And for those of you who, like don't believe what I'm saying about uh, Charlie, like making up excuse after excuse after excuse for, for why he did so poorly. Um, I'm going to play this. I played it on stream. It's like two minutes long. Um, I'll probably stop at like halfway in between, but like, I, I like claiming that you didn't understand the question. Like I, 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 it's, it's, it's so sad. It really is. And now I give a perspective on something that immediately gets misconstrued. And I do recognize a lot of it's my fault. I assumed that Sneeko was talking in hyperbole about a nine-year-old getting their dick cut off because I didn't have the assumption that anyone thought that's a, that that is how transitioning works. There is, under no circumstances, any legality behind a kid saying, I want to change genders, and then immediately going in and getting their dick cut off. That doesn't happen. I thought he was just talking in hyperbole. Obviously, no one says that's good. That's not at all what I was fucking saying. I thought he was talking about the overall point of a child transitioning, which is years long process. And you can't even get that fucking surgery legally until you are 18. Like so this is why I said I was going to break it up. I I've got a, a few things pulled up I want to show you. So like the first thing is that there have been many states coming forward right now and outright banning uh, doing these treatments to kids because they recognize it's a harm. Now, I understand the argument's going to be, whoa, those are just far right red states. OK, that that's fine. Right. Um, Let's talk about California, which passed a bill that says that if the parents do not a uh, do not affirm the child's gender, right, meaning the the child says, I, I think I might be a, a girl trapped in a boy's body. And the parents go, I, I don't know. Let's get you therapy. I'm, I, I, let, let's, I, I don't think you're actually a girl. That's classified as child abuse in California, right? So you can't make this whole thing. Well, this takes years. There's a lot of therapy and there's a lot of discussions. When right off the bat, you know, in California, it's classified as child abuse if you actually do that. Oh, oh yeah, sorry. You can also just straight up lose your kid. And, and, and this is from a CNBC article in California, parents may lose custody of the child if they resist gender transition. So parents, like I've talked about how parents are basically blackmailed, like emotionally blackmailed into going along with this stuff because they say that if you don't do this, your child will unalive themselves. But in California, they took it a step further and basically said, we'll take your kid away from you if you don't go along with this. But e even worse, right? Um, California doctors get sued for giving a 13 year old a double mastectomy and, and and to be clear right the, the the this is not like something that is reversible okay this is the same thing as having your penis chopped off for, but for 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 a girl right they're chopping off their breasts permanently that doesn't like like i've actually heard the argument right i remember there was a tiktok uh gender affirming care surgeon who, who basically said that it's okay if you chop your breasts off because you can just get implants later on in life and it's the same thing like it's completely unhinged and they lie to these kids they lie to the parents and in california they took it a step further and classified it as child abuse and threatened to remove the parental custody this is what i said charlie doesn't understand the topic that he wants to talk about he should take the time do the research and maybe he comes to a different opinion maybe he comes to a different opinion but honestly like at, at this point it, it's just embarrassing shameful and it makes you look like a complete idiot I didn't think that that was a literal statement he was making I did not and I guess I should have assumed that he was being literal and that's on me but I'm sure you can point to like fringe examples of like some evil doctors performing it on like kids or something I'm sure that happens there's corruption and everything but I, I wasn't under the assumption that's what we were talking about. But yeah, there's no winning on anything. Sneeko gets away with saying 12 to 15 year olds can marry adults. I don't think his chat looks anything like the YouTube chat here. He literally multiple times reaffirms that he believes 12 to 15 year olds can legally, morally, and should marry adults. And there is no problems for him. But I said that I think it's okay for a child to transition, to learn about it. It's a process. You don't just go in and immediately get your dick cut off. That's not how it works. There's therapy, 
there's other professionals that get involved way years before any kind of surgery can even be an option because again you have to be 18 for the fucking surgery in the first place. So, so like this, this whole thing about how they don't perform these surgeries unless you're uh, uh, over the age of 18. That never happens. And, and and if anyone does it, it's it's actually because they're just a bad person. Like it's not true. Okay, American Society of Plastic Surgeons. Right, you can go right here. Patients under 18 years of age may be candidates for gender affirming mastectomy if the patient, their legal guardians, or their parents, uh, therapist, and their care team believe that delaying surgery until the age of maturity would result in patient harm. What do they mean by patient harm? If you don't do it, the kid will unalive themselves. That is always the threat that they levy on these parents. It's the same shit that they say to push these surgeries through. And then who benefits? The plastic surgeon, the, the pharmaceutical company, because these kids are hooked on medication for the rest of their lives. Charlie doesn't understand any of this stuff, but he continues to talk about it, right? Oh, I misunderstood the question. This, this has never happened. This never happens in the real world. Like, I, I'm sorry. You have no understanding of this subject. You should just shut the fuck up like i again i get why he's mad because sneeko isn't being given the same level of criticism charlie's being given but again the the reason why is all the expectations on charlie everyone expects sneeko to walk in drooling all over himself talking about how the age of consent should be somewhere between like 15 and maybe lower right like that's Sneeko. Everyone expects it out of Sneeko. Nobody expects this from Charlie. And and again, like, I, I don't care that you got something wrong. I don't care that you flunked a debate, right? Like, yeah, it's embarrassing. You know, take it on the chin and grow the fuck up. But like doing this, right? Oh, oh, I, I misunderstood. Oh, it was hyperbole. Oh, uh, why does nobody care about Sneeko? Oh, stop talking about me. Oh, I'm going to take an indefinite hiatus because all of the stress. Bro, like, I, I'm I think I've lost all respect for Charlie over this, right? I don't care if he comes back in a couple weeks and goes like, oh, I made it. Like, no, 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 no. It's one thing to be wrong. It's another thing to tuck your tail in between your legs and slink off into the shadows like an absolute coward. Anyways, guys, you let me know what you think in the uh, uh, comment section below. Um, I, I, again, I like, I used to like Charlie, but after this, absolutely not. Embarrassing, shameful, stupid, and just, just nasty.